everyone, I'm Becky. Thanks so much for joining us for story time today. Today I have a story all about swimming. It is called Lottie and Walter. And in this story, there's a little girl that um, goes to swimming practice every single week, but she has a problem. She is actually afraid of going into the water. And because of that fear, she's kind of created this, um, she's imagined that there's a shark in the water. And so she refuses to go in. However, things begin to change when she meets a new friend named Walter. And you can see Walter is a walrus, and their friendship might help Lottie get over her fear of going into the water. So this is called Lottie and Walter. Lottie has a secret. Her mom didn't know the secret, and neither did her baby brother. Her swimming teacher definitely did not know the secret. Only Lottie knew that there was a shark hiding in the swimming pool. That shark did not want to eat the other kids. It wanted to eat Lottie. So each Saturday morning, Lottie went to swimming class. She watched, she waited. Then she put her shoes back on and went home again. Every week was the same. So you can see she's doing this every single week. She is really afraid of going into the water. Now, almost every week. Next Saturday is the pool party, said Lottie's mom. Hmm, would that shark be at the party? Lottie shivered. She looked down at the puddle under her flipper, and in the reflection, Lottie saw something looking back at her. That was the moment that Walter arrived. I don't want to swim next week, Lottie told Walter on the way home. Walter didn't answer. He was too busy singing, hum belly do, lum belly la, loop de loo. Lottie discovered that Walter liked books, but he did not love shampoo in his eyes. When fish fingers were served for dinner, Walter ate them all. It turned out that they were his favorite, just like Lottie. At night, when Lottie was scared of the dark, Walter sang quietly, hum belly do, lum belly la, loop de loo. She fell asleep and dreamed of sailing the high seas. Lottie was so busy during the week that she forgot all about the swimming pool. But on Friday, while playing hide and seek, she began to feel a little bit uneasy. No one will find us in here, Lottie whispered. So you can see she's starting to become a little bit anxious about that pool party again. So she's trying to hide and trying to find a way out of it. But they couldn't hide from Saturday. I'm not swimming, Lottie announced, and neither is Walter. Lottie did not want to be eaten. Everyone was enjoying the pool party. Her mother, her brother, the swimming teacher, the children, and the shark. Remember, that shark is just in her imagination. Hopefully, she can find the courage to join her friends. Lottie listened to the water, lap and gurgle. Then deep in the shadow, she heard another sound, humbelly do. She moved closer to the edge, lumbelly la, loop de loo. Lottie shoveled her flippers. She looked down at the waves, and she took a deep breath, humbelly do. Take a look, she is jumping in. Lottie had a new secret. There was no shark in the swimming pool. There were only children swimming and splashing, but now Lottie knew somewhere hiding and waiting for her was Walter. So in that story, she was able to overcome her fear thanks to her special friend, Walter. Now I have a song um, that's about swimming in a swimming pool. And so there's a lot of motions with this. We'll try it a couple times so that you can pick up, pick up on it. Swimming, swimming in a swimming pool. When days are hot, when days are cold in the swimming pool. Breaststroke, side stroke, fancy diving too. Oh, don't you wish you didn't have anything else to do? Let's try that again with the motions. Swimming, swimming in a swimming pool. When days are hot, when days are cold in the swimming pool. Breaststroke, side stroke, fancy diving too. Oh, don't you wish you didn't have anything else to do? Good job. 
All right, and last, I have one other thing to do on the flannel board. Sometimes we might go swimming in a pool, but sometimes you might have the chance to go to a lake or the seaside. And while I'm at the ocean, I love to look all along the beach to see if there are any pretty shells. And sometimes it's hard because the waves can come crashing in and it can pull some of those shells away. So let's take a look and see how many I have here by the sea. There's one, two, three, four, five. So let's hold up those five fingers for those shells. Good. Five little seashells washed up on the shore, crash went the waves, and then there were four. Four little seashells, as happy as can be, crash went the waves, and then there were three. Three little seashells, all shiny and new, crash went the waves, and then there were two. Two little seashells lying in the sun, crash went the waves, and then there was one. One little seashell left all alone. Yippee, it shouted as I took it home. All right, thanks for joining me today for a story time all about swimming. We'll see you next time.